guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a retreat haul to show you and I have a Mr. Wellington's tail for you. Um, so what I have is all the things that I bought while well, at the haul or were given to me or I bought before I went. Only I think one thing I wanted to share that I bought before I went. But we do have some coffee uh, because life, right? Duh. Oh, and some hair product, apparently. We'll hide that. Hi, sweet boy. My baby. That's my Wellington. Oh, he's like, lady, you stop. You stop, lady. They missed me. <laughs> Sarah stayed with them and sent me lots of videos. Okay, I have a ton of stuff here. I'm going to try to link everything below the different vendors um, that were there and some of the people that I met they are having some YouTube channels I, off the top of my head I can tell you I met Caroline and she's off the grid needle arts and ever tote is her store where she sells floss and all kinds of things well the floss she sells is from Leo and Roxy and you'll see a lot of that here and so I got to meet the dyer, Carrie, behind Leo and Roxy. Such a lovely ladies. Oh, everybody was so kind. And if I forget somebody, I'm so sorry. Um, and as I get to the stuff, I will tell you. But I met Caroline, and she has a YouTube channel, or a floss tube, I'm sorry. And she talks about crafty stuff. And I met Ellen from uh, Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. She will talk about cross stitch, but it's very rarely an hour. Um... And Ryan, Rai Rai McGuy's channel. I met him and Lisa from Forest City Stitchers. She was actually one of my table mates and many, many more. So they're putting together, there's somebody in the group putting together a list of all of the YouTube channels from people who were there for floss tube or regular channels. And if anybody has an Etsy store. Okay, first things first, and I did show you this um, this was my smalls exchange and I showed it to you, but I wanted to show you again. I just want to show you the box. It's Canadian flags. So when you go to a retreat, you, or this retreat, we stitched small little some things to share. And my, Alicia, thank you again. I love it. Um, that was what I got in the smalls exchange. Okay. So what I purchased, I bought this on Amazon and there is a link to my Amazon storefront below. It is an affiliate link and if you look in my crafting essentials, this lamp, the base is pretty heavy. I think it weighs like three pounds, I think. So this will come off and clip to a table so we couldn't have power to our table. This is a rechargeable, so you charge it up so it can either sit on its base or it could clip to a table. Um, I think right now the white was $25 and the black is 20 And then this obviously moves around. I highly recommend one of these. Mine, it also has a magnifier. Oh, I'm turning it on. Um, it did not, I didn't have any issues, but I would say like six or seven hours of the light being on so what i will do next year is either at lunchtime go up and charge it up in my room or i'll get like a power brick to recharge it but it was fantastic highly recommend the amazon link is in my description box with everything else okay now um i'll go over table mate stuff so we have um, her name is Lisa, like I said, Forest City Stitching, and she gave us a stack of these um, floss drops, so you can hang your floss from them, and it tells you her name on the back, and she, I think, took this picture. And so these are great. They're nice, heavy quality to hold on to your um, floss after you take it off, and she gave us some stickers, and I'm a planner girl, so this is right up my alley. And she brought me a Canada Goose. I think it's what it is. Sticker. Because, you know, I'm a weirdo, right? I'm a weirdo. I can't help it. Okay. And then our table mate, Devette. Look at this. She gave us some trim. And for just finishing, there's some ribbon and 
trim in here, but also, which I need to pull out, is a zipper pull. Or you could put that on your scissors, oops, on your scissors or on anything. It's a beaded thing, and I'm 100% sure she made all of this. And then she shared with us for more finishing some different fabrics. And she also was from the States. So she brought some like red, white, and blue and some gingham and some pink and white like ticking. I love it. So she shared that with us. And then, I know she was so generous. I'm going to have to up my game next year, guys. A This is a Lizzie Kate little pattern. And it's an Easter pattern. She was actually stitching this during the retreat, the little bunny. And then the floss to go with it. And these are also just a different type of floss drop. But she even labeled what the floss was. I'm like, girl, you are so kind to us. So thank you, Devette. That was wonderful. And I'm putting everything back so I don't lose it. And then Debbie, also a table mate, shared with us. Uh, uh, uh. I gotta open it. Oh, some finishing buttons. So I got the blue and the yellow, and these yellow will go perfectly with something I'm gonna show you. And then we all, everybody brought so much candy to share. And then she gave us in these neat little bags, which I'll keep for my smalls, um, some ecru. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but there's some. Um, I'm not sure what they're calling it. I'm calling, it's called Ecru, but it, there's a metallic thread in here and I love it. And then I cannot, I don't know. I wasn't at my table when this appeared. So I'm sorry, I don't know who brought me this, but look, it has more floss drops. This one has a B on it. This one says Toronto Maple Leaves. And there's this one with the heart. And then, and some candy, which is so exciting. And I can't have it, unfortunately, but Sarah can. And it's little hard candy maple leaves. Because, you know, we were in Canada. So I think that was, if I come across anything else, oh, I do see something else. And then, oh, and she has a channel too. This is Crafton Chris Creations. Crafton Chris Creations, I'll find out where her Etsy or YouTube, oh, it's Etsy and it's on the back of her card. And she gave us these, and this is a stitch or a needle um, minder. So it has a magnet on the back. I got a lot of them to show you, needle minders. And you put it the magnet on the back and this on the front. I sometimes use them to hold a pattern, but it also you, it'll your needle will stick to it. Here's Wellington. He's going to just have a little rest. He just had dinner. And the fun thing, I grabbed this from the Dollar Tree, this metal little tree, and it holds my, my needle minders because they're magnetic. Okay, now also part of... So I think we're moving into what was in our goodie bag, if I had to guess. I'm sorry, I'm terrible. We received from Pastime Pieces in its quilt, quilt fabric, cross stitch kits, patterns, notions, and more. And they're in Blenheim, Ontario, and we got this. Now, I know quilters use this, but so do cross stitchers, and it gives you how many inch border. So typically we'll go with like a three inch border so if I set it in there, I would start stitching here or if you want less. And then look at that little button. It's a sheep and then a pin. And I will, like I said, I will link all of these to you. And then we received some floss. And this is from Leo and Roxy. And the color is, I don't know the color. No color. That's not listed. Is it on the front? I'm not sure what the color. Oh, it's on the pattern. Haystack. So that is Haystack. And that is Falu Red. Because she also, we got from Hanny, Hanny Little Stitch. Hands Little Stitch Treats. A Stitch North 2022 with the moose and the maple leaf. And this floss is for this pattern and this was a freebie that we received and it's just a small little stitch 
And we got the floss to go with it, which is super exciting. I'm going to have so much floss, you guys. I will be good for the year. And we received this little pin from Canadian Stitchery. And it's a sunflower. And it's a picture of a cross-stitch sunflower. How fun is that? And then I got the Tiny Modernist. It was also there. And this is a little unicorn. And it just says, make your own magic. We received these. Um, I think from the Tiny Modernist, if I had to guess, but I, I can't be sure. I'm sorry. And then Caroline put in there a project bag. Um, I believe this would be considered one of her small size for cross stitching, but it would hold like an eight by eight Q snap. Such great quality, the muslin on the inside. And this was just part of our registration because I will show you what I purchased from her. And then we all got these Embroidery Canada magazines from different years. And mine is from 2018, 2019 winter. And it's just a fantastic magazine that has some projects and things like that. And obviously being from the States, I was so excited for all of the Canadian, ugh, Canadian stuff. He's taking a bath. And then let's see, this was purchase, purchase. I'm trying to get the stuff. Oh, purchase, purchase. Okay. This is the kit that I ordered from Caroline at Evertote. So she makes these bags and they are fantastic quality. The theme of the retreat was travel and friendship. So isn't that the perfect fabric for that? So I did purchase this kit and it came with a little tiny. Isn't this everything? These are so adorable just with the little cream inside. And this just holds your little notions, right? So I have three bags from her. And then inside I purchased, this is the pattern for the retreat. And I believe you can get these off her site, but you'll have to check Evertote. But this is the Stitch North Sampler 2022. And it was designed by Patty Brake, I believe. And she also has a website that I will link below. I can't show you the pattern inside, but it's like a replica. She created it for us. And it has a quote that says, we are all travelers in the wilderness of this world. And the best we can find in our travels is an honest friend, Robert Lewis Stevenson. It's like a little mini sampler. So it came with that. And then I purchased the fabric. So this is the piece of fabric that I will create that on. Or not, who knows, maybe I'll get, I don't know. But this is the fabric that I bought to go with it. How about that? And Leo and Roxy, Carrie of Leo and Roxy dyed the floss. And those are all the colors that will be in that sampler. Are they not everything? And then some. So that came with it. And then another needle minder. But look at that. So fun fact, I forgot I ordered one and then I bought one. <laughs> but it says Stitch North magnet on the back and I will just stick it to my little tree for now. I'm trying to keep everybody's cards with their, what I purchased from them. But this is a kit that will stay together until I am ready. And I might even end up bringing this bag with me back next year because I already bought my, I already bought my ticket for next year. So that I purchased from Caroline at Evertoe and off the grid needle art. Like I said, she was the one that put this all together for us. Okay. Now, I did some other shopping. Now, these are Rocky Mountain needle minders. First and foremost, we were given one. I'm just trying to get it off of the magnet here. And we were given this with the honeybee. Can you see it? I hope so. And again, everybody has its own little magnet on the back. So she gave us that. And then I went to her booth because we had vendors. And I was trying not to spend a complete and utter fortune, but you know, whatever. Um, I grabbed this little black cat one. Can you imagine why? And then um, she had told me that she would have... <laughs> Queen the band. And then there is another girl, and I'll have to show you when I get it, is making me some queen 
of England needle minders. I know. And then there was stitching, uh, Stitch Toolbox was there and also gifted us these in our goodie bag. This is a Canadian Maple Leaf Stitch Minder. And then when I went up, we had a freebie table so people could bring in stuff that they wanted to give if they weren't gonna like prop, maybe not do it or whatever. And somebody had put a bunch of these out and so I grabbed another Maple Leaf. Here, maybe you can see it better. So those are the stitch minders, some of them that I have. I mean, I say some because I, there's probably more over here. I don't know. Oh, another gift that we got from Bryn and Needle. And I might have bought some stuff from them too. I did. Okay. So we were gifted a pattern for the retreat. So this is just a retreat pattern. And here is the floss that they dyed that you would use. And wait till you see some of this other floss. And this is six strand cotton and it comes with five of each of these two colors. Look at that red and that black. Ugh. And this is hand painted yarn. Just like Leo and Roxy, it's all hand painted. And then they gave us a sample to do to stitch it on a fabric. And the fabric is Lugana 28 count. It's a six by six and it's T and two tones, two tones, two, I don't know. Brennan Needle gave us this. So this is a whole complete project. And then I went and bought some. Now, if you're a knitter, you will recognize the type of dyeing that this is because this is like, this is like variegated yarn, but it's floss and it's speckled and there's two of, two, um, I got two and this is Patty's Day on George Street is the color, but look at it. So I want to do one like leaves stitching with just this floss. So I only have 20 yards, so I have to make that work. And then this just screen, it's called Glassy Beach, Newfoundland, but it just reminds me of turquoise in Arizona and sea glass. Oh, so I grabbed two of those for another project. I have no idea what, and this is Mermaid's Mermaid Purse. And again, look at the gray and the purple. I've not quite ever seen floss dyed like a variegated yarn before, and I am I'm there for it. So again, 10 yards each. And I think US, I think, well, Canadian, I think it was like $32 for all six of those. But worth it. It's all hand dyed. So, you know, if I'm doing something super big, I will buy DMC to go along with it. But I love I love supporting makers, and that was my way of doing that this weekend. So I have all that. I have to put the stuff away so that I can make my spreadsheet, right? Now, um, floss. We'll do Leo and Roxy floss. If you are a member of the group or Leo and Roxy's uh, Floss of the Month Club, do not look because I have last month's Floss of the Month that I received and I think I have, wait, this month's, except I have to remember what colors came with what. I think, hold on, wedding day, very cream, oh wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have the floss that came last month and this month. So look away if you don't wanna know. But the I already took these out, but the flosses that I got last month and I got neutral and it is on Evertoe and you can sign up. Um, this color is called Milkshake. It's just a creamy with a little pink involved. Uh, this peach is Bellini and I am loving it. This is Sugar Plum, oh, everything. I love floss, guys, and yarn. Brown Truffle and Deja Blue. <laughs> I love the names. So that, that was what I received last month and I hadn't shown you anybody yet. 
Now I'm getting, I'm putting them back on their little keeper. My, I put mine in these floss away bags that also is linked in my description box below. I got them on Amazon. Oops. Um, and they're called floss away bags. I like to keep my floss in these bags. It keeps them dust free and wrinkle and tangle free. Then this month, look at those colors, guys. So this month we received Jungle Night Violet. Oh, I haven't taken them out yet. Eh. Butterscotch, Bubbly, and Legend Dairy. It sounds like Milk, Bubbly, Haystack. Violet and Jungle Night. So that is the floss that came this month with my subscription and I just haven't put them away yet. And I believe it's like $24 US um, once a month and you get the five colors. Five colors. Yes, five colors and I signed up for six months. Now, um, there was a freebie table. I showed you the thread keep that I got, or needle minder. I picked this up, it's folk art design. So somebody brought it and it's Halloween is in the air and it says Halloween is in the air, the moon is full, beware, beware. And it's from 2011 and I love it. I love those black, black crows and the moon. My moon might not get a face, but it might and my little I don't even know, pumpkins may or may not get a face as well. But, so that was on the freebie table. And then this, Lisa, my table mate brought, it's Country Yarns Fine Needlework and a Kit Sampler. So the, the girl, I believe, who designed, whose sampler that was a recreation was Anne, a Kit or maybe it's Anne and it's a kit, I don't know. But we're gonna untie it now that I'm home and I can show you what came with this. Hi, Alex. I know, I'm trying to get it out of here. Unfortunately, it is tied up. She's, I wasn't sure where she got it. I'm not sure she knows. I think she said she might've got it like thrifting. I don't know, here we go, okay. But I'm not trying to tear it all up because I need to keep it together. But I can take it out. And it definitely has been in somebody's trunk because I can, I can, sm I can smell like not old, but like a little musty, like it's been around and that's okay with me. Now in here, this, it's a complete kit. I'm just kind of shook. You get a card and it says, Wrought by and then in the year, so you just fill it out and it's a finished card. You would put in the back, um, you have all of your floss and it's all separated out and numbered. So I think somebody probably got this all ready to go if I had to guess. And there is even a needle already attached to it. And then there is this linen, and I don't know if it's even weave or not, but there's the linen is in here, like this everything. And then it says, a little extra from Country Yarns. As y'all know, if you have ever completed one of our kits, we are normally very generous with the allocation of threads, if you find you have any leftovers. And then there's a little extra that you can deal with. And then there's the pattern and then the sampler. And then it gives you the origin of the sampler. And then there's alphabet charts, which is great because I needed an alphabet chart. There's a little directions on how to knit or to cross stitch. There's even how to hang it up. And then this is the Anne a kit, yeah, her name is Anne a kit sampler. That's her name. And it's an entire reproduction of a sampler. How exciting is that? So I got that. I'll put it all back together here in a minute. I mean, it even comes with the little card that you would use. 
And then my purchases. So as I rem said that Tiny Modernist was there and sh this is a Biscornu and it's a parrot pattern. And if you haven't seen a Biscornu, I highly recommend you go find a picture of one, but that's what it looks like. And this will be stitched on 16 count white Ada. And then also from Tiny Modernist, I got The Cat Came Back because, well, duh. And I'm going to make this match my cat. And then she had a freebie that'll stitch up and it looks, looks like that. And it says, Welcome Friends. And that was for, for the retreat, the freebie when we purchased. And I purchased two patterns from her and I was gifted one. And then I brought with me, but I wanted to show you, these are Prairie Schooler Santas. And they go back to like, I think 83 or 84, maybe 85. But they are a small, on the back is the pattern. And they're just little tiny sample, just a little tiny Santa. And they're all different. So like this is 2018. This was 2019. And every year they come out with a new one. And I already got this year's. This is a 2020 Santa, and it says at the bottom, this is a 2021, so last year's Santa with the little raccoon he's carrying, and this year is the penguins. So I will start, I actually started stitching on this one at the retreat, so that's something I will continue to work on. So I didn't buy those there, but I bought them to take there. And then the last two that I purchased are from Modern Folk Embroidery. He, Jacob, also has a YouTube channel, which I'll link below. And he sells patterns, and Caroline sells his patterns. But this one was from last year, and it says, One can't be angry when one looks at a penguin. I just think that's perfect for winter. And then for Halloween, I grabbed... Dark Crosses by Modern Folk Embroidery. And it says, All are equal in death. How exciting. And I already ordered the fabric for this. I'm going to do it on black Ada because I think Ada is a little easier than linen. And then I'm trying to see if it tells me what color floss I need. And I think they did it on with like an acru. But I don't know... I know I need four strands, but I think I'm going to do it on a white, white. So I grabbed these two patterns and I'll tell you what I do is I will go in and photocopy the pattern to work on because I scribble all over it and I like to keep my patterns nice. So I purchased these because I mean, come on guys, how to do a thumbnail. So I bought those patterns. I think I got more than I'm going to be able to do this year. And then the last thing I will show you is what I worked on at the retreat. So I had a start and a finish. <laughs> it's a little tiny one. And this is from Quirky Quaker Queen Bee. I will, again, link that down below. But it's just a little tiny bee. And I started and finished it on 16. This is 16 count Ada that I tea dyed. Do you see the little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I went over it with some black and silver sparkly floss because that's a crown and uh and I think what I'm going to do is put my name down here and use it as my name badge for next year. So that my friends is everything I got at the retreat and like I said it'll all be listed down below I will it might take a little bit of time for me to type out everybody and find all their links but I had such a wonderful time and I really wanted to share that with you so I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later bye